Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our new point of view, our digital edition of Linear Pelle Fair. Today is a Thursday, 30th July, and we are so pleased now to talk about great classic. So our topic webinar today in a great classic is involving three company in leather and also textiles, which will go in their best classic, making us understanding more about what's going on behind the scene. So welcome now Nuova Overload, which today is represented by Mrs. Simona Gentili and Giancarlo Tertella. Hello. Welcome both. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Mm -hmm. Hello. We are very happy to meet you. Virtually, it's a great opportunity for all of us. So, welcome. So, where are you now? I am in Milan Warehouse, and Giancarlo is in Tuscan Sanery in Santa Croce sull'Arno. Okay, so where the company is located. So, welcome. So, what you are talking today about Conceria Overlord. So can I show this video? So can I share it to all of our participants? Yes, please. Oops, oops, oops. Let me go to the video. That's it. Good. So, Simona is your stage. Thank you. This is our tenery. It's located in Santa Croce Sull'Arno, as we told you. And our company was founded in 1972. So we can say we are a pioneer in the leather district. We are specialized in the tonnage of calf and bovine leather for leather boots, handbags, and footwear. So here we can see the, the process, I mean. Yes. You see the drum, the craft, all the machinery used that are, of course, uh, suitable for the safety of workers. For us, it's very important. Yeah, so we guarantee. Can... Okay. We can guarantee long lasting quality to our customers, attention to the environment, seriousness, and experience. Nova Overload has been present on markets all over the world for over than 40 years. The quality comes from a monthly production of 40,000 square meters and for the careful work of 26 employees. Perfect. Can I go ahead? So I want to show you something more. Yes. Sustainability in our process is both for metal free and traditional time and high tense. We have involved our entire supply chain in a rigid sustainability program. Environment is very important. So we created a metal free collection. Here you can see two of our metal free items. Oh, very interesting. So you can see a video of a 3D model made with our crop item. So this means that uh, you can provide the article and then you can also showcase how the article works on the finished product. Yes, uh, we can offer this interesting uh, service uh, to designers so they can see immediately the look of, the, of our item. Brilliant. These are the pictures of our last collection we presented at the Linea Pelle exhibition in Milan. We have always participated in the most important leather fair. We present some of our items. This is sparkling. It's a mirror effect item. It's made with a liquid lamina instead of foil. So 
it doesn't break and it's more ecological. Sparkling can be printed, like in the video, 3D video now. Sparkling can be also smooth like this. So this video is really realistic. So you can also see the effect of the sparkling uh, or the, the lights. And this is also sparkling in various fantasies made on plot. And also in this case, you have the video. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. You see this nice week? Very nice. This is really nice. So let me tell you, it's really interesting to see that the, the 3D effect on the finished product is so realistic. It's really realistic. You can perceive this is leather. I like to show again. May I? <laughs> yes, of course. Perfect. Okay. These are some printed items on the summer color of white. Uh, prints are our strengths. We produce in many, many designs, you can see. We can make also private design. Mm -hmm. So this means that designer can propose you the patterns that they want so that you create the plates or you create the, the, the right pattern for them, correct? Right. Another is the classic item for shoes, but it can be used for leather goods too. Mm -hmm. Tufato is a very interesting item as it is double face. You can have the same color on the top and on the bottom of different colors. So you can create a sandal, online bag, belt and very nice small leather boots object. Dover is mainly used for classical shoes. We have a warehouse in Milan where we offer a stock service. So in here we have a video where we can see the stock service. So this means that uh, your client your, can ask uh, to see what you have in a stock, so they can also make a small order. How this is going on? Yes, for items ready on stock, there is no minimum order quantity. One skin is enough and delivery is immediate. For other items of standard production, minimum order quantity is 50 liter per color and delivery for each device. Okay. And these the, are the items that we keep in stock uh, that we can send immediately the day after the order. Tatiano, we have 20 colors, Alt 60, this is Tatiano, 
Anche is one of our best sellers. It was created in 1988. Wow. So, congratulations. So, you could maintain and keep going such a long story of a uh, night. Yes. We had the new colors, but we have 60 colors in the color card. Alpina and Mini Franti, you see the color cards. We have all colors in stock. And Napa New Lamb. Okay, in all of these colors. If you want, you can follow us on our social. So this means now I can get inside of Instagram and start immediately to see some of your latest collection items. Of course. Of course. Great. Thank you for this. So I'm sure that this will be super useful for all the people that listen us because they could uh, see your highlights, they can see also that you can really provide this kind of virtual uh, mimic or virtual shaping on the finished product. So thank you, Simona. Uh, thank you, John. Thank you. Bye bye. And we will keep in touch by social. All right, we wait. Bye <laughs> bye. Bye bye. Yes, thank you very much. So now let me introduce our next company because now we have Attilio Imperiali, Tossitura di Artiglio Imperiali. So I would like to ask to our host to upload as a panelist uh, Valentina, which is uh, representing Tessitura Attilio Imperiali. Let me see, Valentina is coming. Hi, ciao Valentina, unmute your microphone. Welcome, where are you now? Hi, I'm Como, thank you everyone for watching us. I'm at the office right now in Como, it's too hot, really, really hot. It's really hot, even yeah. though it's hot, but I'm in a beautiful place, surrounded by leather right now in the Linea Palace room, so I feel to be very lucky today. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, if you want, I can share with you some slides. Yes. Uh, but first, yes. I would like to uh, introduce a little bit the company for who may not know us. So Imperiali is a company based in Como, Italy. And we produce silky products for accessories, shoes, and also clothes. Uh, so basically, we help um, huge brands like you are. Uh, to um, uh, create beautiful collections with our fabrics. Uh, just one second that I show you uh, uh, my slides. Okay, share screen, share. Perfect. I just closed my camera just because I want to give you the best part. Okay. Okay. This is our presentation. So for uh, you can see uh, you can see my screen, right? Right. I can. Okay. I can. Okay. Okay, for this collection, we decided to follow a new wave of high definition with high quality products and long lasting instead of the low definition fabrics we had last year's. So we perform innovation by combining past and future items in, in terms of research styles and manufacturing. Uh, the first topic is no stress, anti-stress products, uh, basically represented by white fabrics, that white and black uh, are the two most uh, transitional colors for the collection. We decided to present different shades of white, uh, starting from the cold tones to the warmest one that are perfect for winter. Valentina, please 
Can I ask you if you can open the presentation screen so we can see much better? They are so beautiful items. Okay, okay. I had just one doubt because I have um, the music. So I'm afraid, just tell me if you okay. hear. Okay. Yes. You see, you can hear me or not? Yes, of course. Okay, okay perfect. So here is better. So uh, I was telling you that we decide uh, for different tones of white and also you can notice different textures and volumes. So, um, the, um, the touch is really soft and comfy. And the, softest, the softness of fabric is now fundamental for this season. Uh, so we put the focus on the touch sensitive aspect and the cocoon aspect. Here you can see some of our fabrics. So the second topic is heritage. This is uh, a little more a no 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 nostalgic part of the collection. Um, you can find the great classic uh, and we decided to have, add a value to fabrics and evergreen that are handed down from generations. The color st starts from camel to the dark brown that are perfect for winter. The third one is tapestry. So tapestries in every, every variety are back. The idea was to create um, accessories, so shoes and bags that remind us uh, of any of any type of this style, but with brighter color. So a new uh, a new version of tapestry. Here you can see yes. our new fabrics. Yes. More classic one. Yeah. Flowery. Bright one. Another topic is sportwear. So mainstream products are now renewed thanks to a creative touch, like uh, micro and macro make special standard fabrics. Masculine and feminine go beyond the borders and bright and matte finishings makes the difference. Is new sportwear is more elegant, but still comfy. I'm uh, sorry. Okay. Another topic is sweet gold. Uh, so with this topic, we offer elegant fabrics that are perfect for evening events. Mm. These fabrics have a soft and delicate metallic tones and bright touches, as you can see, like these micro dots, and also tone sur tone effect. Another one is night gradient because the digital aesthetic is now full of night shades and degradé. And recent resources added the shimmery and finishing and shiny special effect, as you can see here. Yeah. And these are very, really elegant, seems to be very elegant, classic, but with a twist. Yeah is something new. Oh, wonderful. This guy. Yeah. The last one is Liquify. So we put together shiny and bright fabrics, starting from natural silky effect to the extreme sparkles. Unfortunately, is this is the only slide I can show you. <laughs> for this topic, but we will have something more soon. Okay. For sure. For sure. It's also interesting that you are introducing something and then we can see something more in a, in a, in a little while. So because you are continuously working. Yeah, yeah. 
especially for this season, I think that we, uh, that we will uh, work until the end of September. So uh, our RNS office is still working a lot. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, another thing that I wanted to share with you is that maybe I stop sharing the screen, okay, is that Imperiali uh, just wanted to intensify its awareness um, to the environment. Uh, as you can see, uh, starting from the last season, we um, decided to produce our two uh, best sellers that are uh, Razio Imperiali and Tela Olona. We decided to produce them in a sustainable version using um, ecological cotton and um, bio silk. And from this season, we will have more colors uh, in order to uh, recreate a stock service, but sustainable stock service. So I think it's so I, I, really important I for us. I understand, Valentina, that this is one of the very important topics for Artilio Imperiali, to yeah. the commitment uh, to be sustainable and also to improve more yarns. So this means that yeah. you are starting from your uh, gray classic and then you will move uh, to the trendy or yeah. special finishing. This is really interesting, even because it's exactly. obvious. We noticed that most of the, the visitors and the designers are looking for uh, sustainable yarn, sustainable material, and sustainable processes. Yeah. I think that the final goal will be to uh, produce only sustainable fabrics. Oh, yeah. It's really hard work, but I think that during the time we will be able to do it. Yeah, it's, like, it's a great challenge. So congratulations for this. Thank you. Thank you. Grazie Valentina. Thank you so much. Thanks that you introduce us this kind of Thank you. quick twist from Attilio Imperiali, but very deep and very consistent. So thanks to the participant to take part of this uh, Attilio Imperiali presentation. Now I want to introduce my next guest. So, thank you so much. Grazie. So, now my next guest is Tustin and Barnett, directly from England. Let me see if Charlotte is here. Oh, hi, Charlotte. Please unmute your microphone. So, I see you ready in your showroom, I guess. Hello, yes, I'm here in the show. Hello, hello, welcome, how are you? Thank you, very good, thank you. It's um, sunny over here in England for once, so it's very hot in the office. So we have, we're oh, not used right. to it. <laughs> I, I incredibly think that it's art everywhere now in Europe, but of course, so let me in, well, introduce yourself today. Um, yeah, so... We are a fifth generation now family run um, tannery based in England in Northamptonshire. Um, so it started by my great great grandfather in 1938 um, and still in the family now. <laughs> wow, I'm so <laughs> proud. Over the years. <laughs> I like this great great grandfather. So now you are so proud to introduce the company online. Yes, definitely, yeah. So definitely a new way of doing things since it started back all the way back then in the 1930s. <laughs> so what do you prepare today for us? Which are your great classics? Yeah, so we have a huge range of leathers, um, but definitely what we're most well known for is our signature trademark Mad Dog leather. Um, so I have obviously the showroom behind me, so I'm going to walk through some of our classic leathers and then also some of our newer articles as well. Um, so the raw material for the Mad Dog itself is very special. Um, so it's a vegetable tanned crust. Um, oh yeah, I can show you on this on our site. Um, so this just has a bit more information about us if anyone doesn't know our tannery very well or wants to learn more they can go onto our website after 
this talk and just learn a bit more about our history and our heritage and all of our key classic products. Yeah, I like it. I like it to share right now because I think it's so beautiful done. So I'm <laughs> really seeing, oh, okay, look at this, MacDog. So yeah. now we're introducing our MacDog. So let, tell us something more about this. Um, so the raw material for this article is very unique. Um, so it's tanned using just the seeds from the trees, so completely vegetable tanned and tanned by hand so it uses minimal or no machinery in the raw material tanning process. Um, so it's very sustainable, eco-friendly, there's mi very minimal waste. Um, and so it's from a farming cooperative in Africa, the raw material, and the sale from the skins um, helps support the entire community. So we pretty much buy everything that they produce and then we manufacture in various different articles, but specifically our mad dog leather is made on that raw material. Oh, correct. So, so in this case, what you are showing is the basic part and yeah. that can work on it and then you can do several finishings. Mm -hmm. So this is the, uh, we've made this into a really lovely new buck finish and then you can see the grain lines here which are unique to this raw material for this goat. Yeah. Um, because each skin is hand twisted during the tanning process which gives this completely unique grain. It can pattern. also lessen the sound. Yes, yeah, so it's very vegetable. You can hear the veg content. Yeah. <laughs> in, that typical sound of it, and then really yeah. the body, you can really, with the end, touching it. Yeah, definitely. So it definitely gives a very different look. So here, this is a military green color, which is very popular for kind of winter always. And then this is the kind of um, crunch effect that you get, which is very strong and dramatic effect. And then you also see the grain lines in the base of the pull-up. So it just gives it a little bit more interesting, a bit more depth to the leather rather than the uh, traditional clean pull-up leather. And yeah. it's a I think it's a little bit more interesting. It's a more interesting pull-up because you have the several dimension of depthness. Yes, definitely. And then also the beauty of this leather is because it's so natural, um, it just ages so beautifully. It gets a really deep patina with wear. And if it gets any scuffs, you can just polish them back out. So the shoes or bags, whatever it's used in, they kind of look better the more you use them. Rather yeah. than yeah. It is the best long lasting item, isn't it? Yes, definitely. So it gets better with use rather than having to replace it and throw it away, which is definitely something we want to avoid because it's just not a very sustainable way of living yeah. to do that. I, I assume that this is, a, this is a state of the art of sustainability right now that we always know and now it's more consistent. Yes, definitely, yeah. Um, so we do, even though it's a uh, veg tan material, we still have all of these bright colours available in it. So we're not limited on colour at all, even though it's such a natural vegetable tanned article. Greenish, reddish, yellowish, I see yeah. purple. Orange and everything, yeah. Um, and then we also have kind of two different ways of working. So we have um, our partner tanneries overseas, which we've worked with for well over a decade, then we can be able to provide our finishes on, on different raw materials. So we do the mad dog on cow and on buffalo and also on different goats. Um, so it just gives you different properties, maybe slightly better for vulcanized footwear or different because they have a bit more chrome in the tonnage for these ones. So we have the two different ways of working. Um, and then also at a lower price point as well, we can offer our unique articles, yeah, for different prices. So for a premium product in vulcanized item, you mean, so you can also achieve a more, uh, let me say, a more considerable price. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so we have two different, those two different aspects. Um, and then this is brand new again, back to the African raw material. We have this hand tie dyed leather, which is brand new for this season. Um, so tie dye has been very popular in textiles. We wanted to translate that onto these unique African raw materials. 
So this is a traditional method that's used for dyeing textiles and we've done the same by hand on our African goats as well. So it's a very special article. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I think it was really not easy to make it because I can mm -hmm. also see this kind of bright patina that yeah. makes the, the leather more precious. Mm. Yes, definitely. And we've got a lot of bright colours you can see behind me in this tie-dye. I just pulled one colour out just to show. Um, so every skin will be slightly different. So every article will be slightly like a unique purchase someone has if they, every bag or purse will be slightly unique to that, that one. <laughs> like a bespoke article. Um, and then, so as well as that, we have our classic, this is a natural pebble grain goat and it has a really nice plump body to it and really even grain pattern. We've done a lot of work on getting a really even pattern across the skin um, and then a very natural slightly tipped finish just to show a little bit of depth to it. So this makes up like for a beautiful handbag, really soft with a lot of often you can feel the plump and I, I also feel the lightness. Is that light? Um, yeah, this is a, it's around 2.2 millimetres, something like that. So it has weight to it, but it doesn't feel too heavy yet because of the softness of the tannage and the plumpness, I think. Yeah, it has a really nice hand feel. So that's one thing. Um, and then on the same kind of soft tannage, we also offer these sheep nappers as well, which are super soft and buttery. Um, and have a very nice subtle sheen finish to them, very natural but even colour. Mm. Uh, I really would like to touch you and feel the buttery feeling. Yeah, it feels amazing. Buttery remain in your fingers when you feel it, just in a soft way, so you have this kind of memory inside of the skin of the surface. Yes, you can almost tell just by looking at it, it makes you want to feel it because it just has such a nice soft and feel. That's okay. another favourite. <laughs> um, and then moving on to some bigger skins, we have, this is a glazed cow article. So it's completely natural, it's just dyed in a very light tan colour and then it just has a light coat of oil and then it's glazed by hand and then milled. So you have this really lovely natural subtle mm. tip from the glazing machine. Um, and then just an even grain. So again, supernatural can be burnished or polished or even hand stained on top to, to create really beautiful shoe or boot. Out of yeah. It. Do you do you suggest do you suggest more boots like straight boots or very uh, polished? Let me say polished shoes. Something which is more minimalistic. Would you suggest with this leather? Yes, definitely. So it has a very clean, um, contemporary kind of look, but also at the same time whilst being natural. So I think that just to be contemporary, it doesn't mean it should be fake or too pigmented or overproduced. It's still very natural, but clean. And it would look great, yeah, in a long boot or even just a short kind of ankle boot. And then the, just lightly burnish the toe and heel, but let the rest of it natural. It would look really pretty. Yeah. Lovely. I really trust in this direction of trends in something clean and minimal. So where you, you recognize the naturality, but it's not so strong. That's great. Yes, yeah. Um, and then along the same lines, that was um, cow. And then this is on buffalo. So you have the same really nice aniline glazed finish, but then you also have the character of the buffalo grain as well, which is a little bit more pronounced. Um, so maybe a bit more for a men's classic boot or shoe or even a more structured briefcase, it would look great. Um, so we have kind of more of the earthy tones um, in that tan and then we have the classic black as well for winter, it's always popular. <laughs> yeah, for sure. The types, oh, I, th I see this kind of graining inside of the black. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the black shows it more. Um, the buffalo grain. Yeah, I think black shows shows more. This is, this yeah. is good. Um, and then again on the very classic line, we have these very big um, natural 
cow skins. <laughs> it's bigger than me. I'll see if I can fit it all in. Wow. <laughs> um, but it does have a very natural matte finish and very even, even though there's no finish on there actually. It's just a little bit of um, dye and then just the way it's finished, just to try and keep an even colour, um, but without applying too many chemicals to make it look too finished. So there's no finish to scratch off or scuff off. Again, this will just polish and burnish with age or with a shoe cream in manufacturing or something like that. Yeah, so in this case, you need some crafting, finishing after making the product. So, but I think this is another state of the art of the minimalistic contemporaneity that we have now. Yeah, so people can just buy one leather like this and then hand stain and finish it into multiple different colorways rather than buying 25 different colors. They could just buy one color and then they can create loads of different looks in the shoe, which I think hand staining has become more and more popular because people want that really high-end, expensive, classic, classic look to the footwear. That suggestion. So I like this suggestion because there are some very secret suggestion for designers and now they have to come up with something very important and consistent to, to play the game of the situation right now. Yeah, Great. Thank yeah you. absolutely. Um, and then, so most of our leathers we make to order as well. So that means that everything can be adjusted to suit each customer's requirements. So if you want this article, but slightly softer or shinier or more glazed, we can tailor every single article that we make to the exact customer's requirement. So they get their own leather, leather article in the end, really. It can all be adjusted and we can match to any kind of Pantone reference or swatch of other fabric or um, so you can match if they're making something in textiles they want the exact color in leather then we can match all of that up as well. Match it. Yeah. Great. I think brilliant. Yeah. Uh, Charlotte I think time is over now but uh, let me tell you I would like to stay more and listen all of you because it was so interesting to listen uh, even all of the suggestions that you have right now. Mm. So let me invite all the participants to attend to our next edition, which will be physical in September, the upcoming September. The intention is to be physical as well, but now, of course, I, th I think that also this kind of online and virtual way to explain product can work, can work very well. And mixing, it's really, it's really, really good. Thank you, Charlotte. Enjoy your afternoon. Thank you, you too. Thanks to all the participants right now and stay tuned and see you in the next uh, webinar, in the next forum in less than 20 minutes. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>